other than the peanut, did you ever play pranks with a robot? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell that story and then we'll do the double game or the robot. I can tell stories about the robot. <laughs> Bob May was the actor that was inside the robot. The robot's about that high. Bob May's about that high. <laughs> so he fit in it very well. He's got the robot that he did a beautiful job making the robot right next to me where I signed. And uh, the robot was the robot, you know. I could tell you stories about it, but I'm not going to. Anyway, doing pranks was what I like to do. So one day at lunch break, we're, we're filming on the stage where I throw the penis down, but it's a different day, of course, but there's still the big desert and the whole thing. And the robot and I uh, have just finished a scene all of us and so forth. Everybody went to lunch. I said, come on, dude. What? Going on? Lunch. Oh, Bob wants to go to with us. No, no. Come on. Come on. Go to lunch. He said, but you gotta let him out of the robot. You gotta, you gotta let him out. Because we told Stu Moody, the special effects people were responsible for clipping him in, putting the bubble on his head so he could get in and out of it, you know? So I told Stu, I said, Stu, listen, Bob's gonna go to lunch with us, so. I'll get him out of the robot. <laughs> I'll, get him, I'll get him out of the robot, all right. So he's in the robot. Everyone goes to lunch. And Billy says, I said, come on, Billy. He said, what about Bob? Don't worry about Bob. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to lunch. So we go up. We go up. We didn't go to Shea Jay's this day. Went across the street to a place. And uh, Bob's in the robot. And I'm like, uh, I do have a conscience. I'm not a badass guy all the way through. So I'm like, oh, it's not right to leave him in like that. After. So we had lunch. I enjoyed lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about him on the road. I enjoyed lunch very much. I said, let's go. But I'm going back this day. So we come back, open up the door to the stage, 17, same stage, and the robot's out there. And the smoke coming out of this top of this bubble. I said, where he talks to all the smokes all around the robot. I said, holy God, I killed the robot. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. I know he's dead. And went over. What happened was Bob used to, he was right at home. He lit cigars in there, smoke a cigar. <laughs> Reading the tray paper. <laughs> As happy as a clam, just sit back in the So I took the ch -ch 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 -ch, I took the bubble off him, and he put his head out. I said, oh, oh, thank you. That was nice of you. I said, yeah, it was very nice of me, Bob. Uh, he, he said, no, I mean, getting me out. I said, no, Bob, you're okay. You're okay, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Bob, but I forgot about you, which I like to do a lot. <laughs> and uh, so it turned out all right. Uh, that was, the, that, a lot of things happened on stage 17. Uh, one of my favorite stories is uh, Guy and I won. We're doing a scene. Same place. Same in front of a different boulder. See, if we do a scene, you do another scene, another scene, they just take one boulder and put you in front of different boulders. <laughs> it didn't got to go off, you know, just another boulder, okay. So we're there doing the scene. And Earl was having trouble with Guy at the time. Guy was not happy with Jonathan and all this stuff, and he was thinking about an agent about he, you know, giving. so Erwin, he had trouble with Erwin. And I guess he sent his agent to Erwin about it. he's not getting out to do or whatever it was about. So the door flings open at 17, and choo, it's like a tornado. Erwin Allen was about this, you know, he had like a brittle pad, you know. He, he could fly it on the stage like this. And a tornado came out of a guy. He said, Guy Williams, you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> now, I saw him come on, so I sneaked away a little bit and went behind the big boulder so he couldn't see me. <laughs> I looked over and he saw me, my head peeking out, and he said, And you got him? You're a triple dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Thanks, sir. I just got building over Guy Williams. <laughs> he was only one dickhead, I was king. <laughs> I, was, I made my day. <laughs> I was happy as, I just was in great shape. That's, that a lot happened on 17, I said other stories, I don't have that story in there about the 
dickhead thing. Dickhead <laughs> 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 you know, wasn't exactly the word he used. He used the word, same thing, but with P. I don't know how to say it. It's like when you hit your finger and you, you prick it. That, that's what he called it. A prick it. <laughs> Listen. Uh, yeah, the robot. There's a lot of stories about the robot. And a lot of stuff about everybody. Oh, I'm going to do my double game story. You got it on? Terrific. Second, second year in the show. I live in Massachusetts. That's where I'm from. And uh, in Massachusetts, we have something called Mantasket Beach. Paragon Park. Paragon Park's with the old wooden wall. Uh, uh, roller coasters and all those little things going on there, you know, and you get your fried clams and all that good stuff back there in Nantasket Beach. And I had my daughter, who I just showed you a picture of, but now she's, uh, she wasn't good enough. She came, so she's, she's four years old now. So I'm going to go show. So I had her little cousin and Melissa with me. And they were on the teacup ride. And I'm standing by it, and I'm holding on to them. The little sweaters waiting for them to finish their ride. And I look over here and over there, there's an out, one of those outdoor beer gardens. And there's a guy sitting on one of those little, you know what I'm talking about, chrome seats with a little red leather in the center of it you can spin around on, you know? And he's sitting there and he's <laughs> chugging down these beers like crazy. And I can see him just going, boom, boom. I'm looking at him. He's, Going like, oh man, he's all over the place over there, sitting down, falling off the stool practically. And uh, then he comes over to me, and walks over. And uh, I said, yes. He said, <coughs> mister, I'm going to tell you, you don't believe this, but you look just like the guy in Lost in Space. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same kind of hair. <laughs> the same figure, you look the same like that. Features, they look just like this guy. That's what I'm watching. He said, you know, if I had a camera, I'd take a picture of you and I'd send it into the Inquirer because they have a contest now. If you send a lookalike of a celebrity in and uh, if it's, you get chosen, you get $50 for it. He said, I, I'd send a picture and you'd win. We'd win and I'd share the money with you. I swear it, it was... You look so much like this guy. It's just unbelievable. Wow. Then he walks away. Oh. He comes nice I'm sorry. My name's Jerry. I shook his hand. I said, Jerry? I'm Mark Goddard. <laughs> oh my God, holy Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I don't believe it. You've even got the same name. <laughs> That's it, folks. <laughs>